everyone. Welcome back to Beauty and the Broken. My name is Heather and the purpose of this channel is to seek and create beauty, sometimes out of a complete mess. And uh, I don't think this one's going to be a complete mess. You never know. It is my channel, so <laughs> many mishaps have, have occurred. So... <laughs> <laughs> but this one is going to be uploaded as my 50th video, not including shorts. So this is going to be video number 50. And so I thought some metallics were in order um, for this episode. Episode? I'm thinking of podcasting because <laughs> I do that too in case, in case you're not familiar. I am the host of the Warrior Words podcast and that link is in the description if you'd like to check it out. Um, but anyway, this video, this creation video... Um, I thought we would do some metallics. So I have an 11 by 14 canvas here uh, that should take approximately six ounces of paint. I am going to put a background of uh, black on, uh, on the whole canvas. And um, I know there's some debate about putting back, um, you know, doing a background first. Um, and um, I watched this video by um, Nate Bright Art, and he showed a comparison where he did a background, a flow extender, and no background. Um, and so um, I watched that, and it was very, very convincing. So I'm going to link that episode. There I go again. I'm going to link that video in the description so you can check it out as well. And I'm just going to put that black all over the canvas. And then I have my cup here. And you can see I have blue tape here. There's the half cup mark and there's the one cup mark. Uh, for those of us in the US, uh, I am gonna be using ounces. So this tape mark right here is at approximately six ounces. Um, even with the black, um, black coating on the, uh, on the base here, base coat. There we go, base coat, not background. Um, even with the black base coat, I think I'm still gonna do around six ounces, so I have a little more control over my final design. Um, so that is gonna give me a visual as to where I need to stop pouring the paint. And then colors. I have bronze, copper, gold, and silver. And like I said, it's going to be the 50th episode, so I'm going with um, a metallic theme here today. Get my other glove on. And move this aside for a moment. Let's see, I have two of them here. This one is the one I've already used. And these, again, are the pre-mixed, ready-to-pour paints. Um, I, like, um, I like using these. Um, I know that there's some limitations to these as well. Um, but I like using them because, um, you know, I have, I have a, a job during the week and I have a podcast and I have a YouTube channel. Um, and so, um, I know it doesn't take a horrible amount of time to mix up paints, but having these ready to go is very helpful for me. So that is what we have in there. I'm going to put this upside down. And like I do have another one over here. And then I am going to spread this out. Cover the canvas. All right, I am back and I have coated the whole canvas and I did make sure the sides were also covered with the black paint. Now it's time to layer the cup. Um, and let's see, I think I'm going to go in this order, silver, gold, copper, bronze. And then I want to do, and you know, before I get started, if you've watched any of my other videos with these paints, you know that the plastic is a super hard plastic. And so it is very difficult to squeeze them out. So it's easier just to take the lids off and pour directly from the bottle. Okay. So I think I'm gonna try and do small layers. I'm gonna pour out of the pour spout. So let's, let's pour in that way. 
Let's cover that. Probably should have put them on the left to start with, but... Okay, so there's the cup with all the beautiful metallics in there. Now, I have been doing um, a couple of ring pours. Um, I think one is on the one is on the channel now, which is the um, the blues and the kind of um, did I say ring pour? I meant ribbon pour. That uh, landscape with the blues, um, kind of beachy type theme. I do have another one coming up. Um, with reds, um, and so this one is now the metallic. Should I do another ribbon? Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go diagonal. I've been doing a lot of resin paintings with the diagonal, and I think I'm going to try this with resin next. So I will do metallics and um, resin. So I'm going to start off the side and just ribbon pour. They don't have to meet. There can be some black negative space in there. I am good with that. And there's that silver, I think. I am at the end, but I think I'm going to come back. Let's go to this one. Okay, come on. Let's get that last little bit in there. Or out of there. Okay. So there's that cup, beautiful. Oops, don't want to drip that. Put that down so it doesn't drip. All right, so created lots of bubbles. Just turn this up just a wee bit. Come on bubbles, ah, I see them popping. There we go. Now, right now, I'm seeing mostly silver and gold. That bronze that I, uh, not the bronze, the copper that I said was heavier is probably closer to the bottom. I don't see it as much. Okay. All right, I do see, I see the bronze in there. I just don't, there's the copper little bit of copper there. All right, let's tilt and see what we have. I'm going to first, I'm gonna tilt mostly diagonal. Um, Cause while I don't mind the lines warping, okay, most, there's a lot of paint up here where I kind of dumped a little bit more at first. So let's go do that. That's gonna hit my fingers first. Oh, well, this is mess. Me painting is messy business, y'all. Move my fingers down so I don't get too much of it. Okay, now it's coming down toward the lower corner. And like I said, I do not mind having some of that black negative space in there. I think it would be... Um, it will be beautiful to have a little bit of that black. And now I'm going to take the weight of the paint back up to the top, upper right corner. Okay. 
and there's a lot of paint on here. Like I said, I, I know that I put extra in here and um, I just need to get some of that off. And I think I'm going to leave that upper left corner because like I said, I do like the black negative space there. I like a little bit of that and I'm angling it a little bit so you can see it's not coming off exactly at the corner. I'm doing that on purpose. Now, I'm going to put this down a minute because I want to think about something. Where's my... Huh. Okay, hold on a second. One move. I don't want to... Okay. There. Um, dry my hands off a minute while I look at this. So if you look in the lower left corner, we have some places where the lines really got jagged here and here. Um, and I'm trying to decide whether I like those or whether I want to pour them off. Um, it gives some interest because the rest of these lines are very, very straight. So I think I've talked myself into keeping them. Um, yeah, I think I have. I think I'm going to tilt more paint off this way and bring in, you know, stretch out more of that black and keep some of these not so straight lines. Okay, decision made. Hands are a little cleaner. Okay, so pick it up. I think a lot of the paint, let's see, let's move it a little bit. Okay, it is not moving as fast anymore. So I think I'm just going to angle it d directly toward that corner. Okay, I see it moving now. It's not, it's not a huge amount. I think that one little part, oh, it's going off at the end. Oh, well, that's okay. Bringing those not so straight lines up. I think I'm gonna angle it a little bit. That one thing of bronze is, uh, it's very straight. <laughs> Let's see if I can angle it a little bit more. I'm really liking the silver, golden, and uh, black at the bottom right of your, of the canvas. Let's see, well, how is that looking? This is gonna sparkle and shine, y'all. Let's see, let's move it up a little bit. Like I said, I wanna keep that black, a little bit of that black, but if I can maybe warp that line just a wee bit more, still keep a little bit of that black corner. It is not warping, y'all. It's okay, it's all good. I think most of the paint has now come off the canvas. Let's see. I got some curves on the right side. I'm not sure I like the curves. So I think I'm going to go back to tilting that off because I don't like it as a curve. Okay. All right. All right, um, you know what I think I am gonna do though? As much as I like that, um, I think it's too big compared to the rest of it. So do I have, can I tell? just drizzle another line. There I go. Start off the canvas so I don't get a lump. may have covered more than I wanted. Grab a pop stick. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to tilt it to the side just a wee bit. And if you'll notice, that uh, that copper never really, never really came up. And now that upper corner is very, very bright. All right. I may play with it a tiny bit more once I turn the camera off. All right. But for a, um, a 50th video, I love all the metallics. And I love all the sparkle and shine, and I cannot wait to see this dry. So, I will see you for the beauty reveal. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome back to the beauty reveal. Alright, I have this in landscape mode, but I'm still trying to decide whether I prefer it in landscape or portrait. So, that... Oops. <laughs> Knock something over when I put the cloth down. Okay. So. I love metallics. So I think we've determined a few things on this channel. I like metallics. I like glitter. And apparently I seem to like diagonal stripes. Because <laughs> I've done quite a few that way. Um, but I do, I do like the introduction of the um, the zigzaggy lines like here, all of these. Now, if you remember when, you know, oh, remember like it was that long ago for you. Uh, <laughs> at the, uh, when I did the video, uh, the creation part of the video, this was in the lower left-hand corner and this was a little more prominent. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be a Heather video if there wasn't some kind of accident. <laughs> and I went and I put my food net over top and the net clipped this edge. And so I had a, a, a smudge and I had to tilt it a little bit more to cover that edge again. And then I promptly got a bigger food net. Anyway, so those are, let's see if I can get the metallics to show. We did seem to lose the um, the copper. I cannot find uh, copper in here. Uh, the, I see the bronze, I see the gold, I see the silver, and obviously I see that black underneath. Um, and I'm glad that I left those black lines. I think they add depth and, um, you know, they kind of break up the gold a little bit. Um, except for down here, we didn't get too much of that just where I, you know, where I said I really liked it and then I proceeded to add a little bit more. But anyway, so this is it in the landscape mode. And let me come back here and maybe, probably shouldn't have clipped it. There we go. This is the other direction that I kind of liked it. I don't know, maybe it looks like it's kind of like flowing like rapids, you know, like it's flowing over and it's hitting some rocks here and getting a little wavy. So maybe that's it. You know, I'm kind of thinking I like that now. But anyway, um, the other thing I was noticing is, um, you know, when I was growing up, um, we were told never to mix gold and silver. And now I really like the idea of mixed metals. And I think this gold and this silver really shine pun intended. Um, so there you have it. There is the metallic, almost all a metallic painting and um, in honor of the 50th video on this channel. And so please um, visit my Kofi shop and that is ko-fi.com forward slash warrior words forward slash shop. And uh, a lot of my art is there and it does take a little bit of time. This does have to cure before I can varnish it. And um, as always, seek beauty. It's always there if you look for it. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.